Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, May 12th. It's 10.35. I just sorted all of my laundry and put a huge load in. You can hear the laundry going now. Um, my friend who lives two doors down, she just sent me some pictures saying that her kitchen renovation is starting. So I told her I was going to stop by and show you guys the process of everything. Now her layout of her house was exactly how mine was. So I want to show you. You see how mine is all open now? There used to be a wall here and, and there was like a cutout so you can see in here. But you'll see on hers if they haven't taken the wall out yet. And the pantry used to be right here, but you can see that mine is gone. I don't have a pantry or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and look, take a sneak peek at her place. And then I'm going to hit the streets because I have some errands to run. Courtney wants me to run her to BWI Airport around 5 today. She's going out of town to Miami. So before then, I have to run and get the gift cards for Mother's Day. Because I told you guys that that was a fail. And then I have to... Hmm. I need to finish my laundry as well. But I'll do that when I get back home. So I have to go get the gift cards. I have to go to the grocery store for my house. And go to the Sam's Club for the cookout stuff that I need. That I'm responsible for for tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to watch Harper. But my parents said that they were going to be home. So I didn't have to do that. But yeah, so I'm going to walk over to her house. I'm actually really thirsty, but I don't think I have any cold waters. And show you guys what's going on there. And then we'll hit the road. See you later. Wow. And you said they did this in a matter of minutes. Yeah. You can turn on the light in me. Which one is You won't get electrocuted. <laughs> Just push the button. Ooh. That's judgment. Can we ride the pipe? It was right there. Wow. And this side. Did they have to go up in there? Or they didn't have just to like the, get up. Just across. Oh, the they way. put like an elbow up here. Yeah. Got it. Wow. Guys, I just left CVS. Y'all look at this receipt. Their receipts be killing me. But it's okay once I get back into couponing. I'm gonna be using all of these coupons. But anyway, I got some leave because I be having a headache. Yesterday I had to take my last two. I had a killer headache and I couldn't get rid of it. So it leaves the only thing that works for me and also this works for cramps for me. TMI, but whatever. I got my gift cards. Look at here. Got my mama one. And got my grandmother one. She loved Macy's, y'all. And then I got Tia one um, since it's her first Mother's Day, which is my sister-in-law. Um, so yeah. Now, what's my total? Oh, Lord. Um, Now I'm headed to the grocery store and then to my parents' house to get their Sam's Club card because we about to share one. And then it'll be time to come back on this side, put my groceries up and go pick up Courtney to take her to BWI Airport for her trip. She's so excited. Uh, my uncle booked her a flight last night because she said she wanted to go to Miami. Some of her friends were already going for a couple days. so. He surprised her and booked her a flight. So that's what we're about to do, guys. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Uh, so I'm leaving my parents' house now. I was there longer than I should have been, but I got the Sam's Club card. So deciding on where to go first. Probably Sam's Club because it's further. Um, but while I was there... Um, my cousin's girlfriend was there with the new baby, Eva. So I got to meet her and hold her because I hadn't seen her since she was born. She's about two weeks now, two weeks old, I think, a week and a half, something like that. She's so small. Um, so I got to hold her, Benny. Benny was there. Um, I gave him some ring, those ring pops I bought yesterday. He was excited about that. I missed Harper because I got there right after Stacy had left. So I didn't see her. That's okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so, yeah, now we're headed.
headed to Sand Club to get a couple things for the cookout and then I'll probably hit up the grocery store on the way home and be done. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all, so I'm in Sand Club. So I got the buns. They have ballpark tailgaters. My parents specifically asked for these buns. They didn't want the regular ones. They bougie y'all. And then I got the green beans. I have to make those. I got some beans. I have to bake those in the oven. The fruit is for my house. I got a thing of grapes. These pineapple steers look amazing and I love pineapple, so I got these. And their strawberries look actually really good. They're nice and plump. This is all the chicken. So I got three packs of the double packs of chicken legs. My dad said he wanted legs instead of wings. I'm gonna try out these Angus beef patties with cheddar and bacon. And then I just got a regular Angus beef patty as well without you know the cheddar and bacon as well so that's everything in sam's and then i have to go to the regular grocery store to get the rest of my personal groceries and to get um the meat and some other things for the bean the green beans and big beans as well so i will see you guys i'm headed to the line now and i'll see you guys in a little bit bye y'all guess what just happened to me i just dropped courtney off at the airport we was running late so you know your girl was speeding Look what happened. Bloop. Got a warning. Got pulled over. He ran my stuff and said that uh, I was clean or whatever. So he thanked me for being a safe driver and just told me to slow down. But I was speeding. So I thank God for that warning and for not getting a ticket and making my insurance increase even more. But um, yeah. But I got her to the airport and hopefully she is pretty much done with security and ordering her flight now but yeah I went into TJ Maxx well I went to go get me something to eat from tropical smoothie and then I went into TJ Maxx to kill some time um, because she said she was hopping in the shower she wasn't ready yet and she lives right by that shopping center but then I got some stuff from TJ Maxx in my cart but when I got to the line it was like 15 people in line literally and like one register open I had to put my stuff back in order to come get her to take her um, to drop her off on time. So I don't know if I want to go back or if I just want to say forget the stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I still got to go to the grocery store and I still got to do one more load of laundry when I get home. So yeah. I don't know. But all right, I'll talk to you guys later. I may try to meet up with Stacey and Hart because Stacey said she was taking her to the park. So maybe I'll surprise my bonnet i just woke up a little bit it's uh sunday may 13th 9 37 happy mother's day to all you mommies out there um i just loaded the dishwasher put away all my new toilet paper um put away two of the chafing dishes they're over there in the boxes by the steps as you can see i gotta go get the other two boxes for those packing up some of the ingredients i need for the stuff that i'm fixing at my mom's house got sweet baby rays for the baked beans and also some brown sugar for the baked beans um and then i'm also doing green beans and chicken but i already left the chicken and stuff at her house and then i have some smoked meat for the green beans which is in the bag in my freezer as you can see i left it in there so that i will remember it but right now ladies outside um right now i'm about to indulge in this bowl of fresh fruit i have uh, red grapes under there let me see if you can see it red grapes under there pineapple spears that i cut up and some fresh strawberries that i just cut up and i just cut up all of my fruit that i showed you guys i got from sam's club yesterday for the week which is all right here those are the great uh the grapes both of these are strawberries and then the pineapples are here so i'm going to sit down and enjoy that and then i put a load of clothes in before i went to bed last night so i need to go hang those up so that they can dry and then put some towels in and all of my laundry is done for the week so that's good so i'm making a little bit of progress and then i'm going to shower and make myself a little presentable so that i can go to my mom's house because i'm not sure what they're what time they're starting tonight i mean today but we have a lot of food to cook and my family is always on CP time. So hopefully the earlier the better. 
And yeah. So what did you guys miss yesterday? I went over to my friend's house last night to um see the progress of her house. And they were able to reroute the pipe. I I um recorded a little bit of that footage for you guys. Her dad and her brother no plumbing. So that was good. They came down and rerouted the pipe for her. So the other contractors and carpenters are coming back on Monday to finish taking the wall and stuff out. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll probably check back in with you guys when I'm at my mom's house. We'll see. Bye. Hey y'all. Um, I just pulled up to my mom's house. I have lady with me cause I'm pretty sure my brother has Duke. My brother and Tia brought Duke, so I always bring her when they bring their dogs so that they can play. Plus, I was going to be gone for a while. I laid down my edges a little bit, um, so that's why I'm taking this off. And I am headed inside, so I'll see you guys a little later. Bye. Alexa, pause. Wait, okay, guys, so I'm making the jerk chicken. We ordered, actually, we actually Alexa, ordered this because um, we had this in Jamaica. It was really good. And then my mom said add a little bit of this on there, but... I've actually never had it with this one yet, but we'll see. So I put both the seasons on it. I have to flip the chicken on now and put that on there. Bentley is here terrorizing both the dogs as usual. So I'll see you guys later. So this is the sweet teriyaki chicken. My dad just took the jerk chicken that was here. I just put the baked beans in the oven and they'll probably overflow. So I have another pan under it. We have the Angus burgers in the back. Row, and then the Angus burgers stuffed with cheddar and bacon in the front. Bratwurst and beef hot dogs. My mom just made the potato salad in there. We still have to cook the um, crab cakes from Whole Foods. And she has to cook the coleslaw in there for the pork sandwiches. We still have scallops to cook. We still have shrimp to steam. This is the barbecue chicken in here that I just barbecued. Put the sauce and stuff on. That's the corn and the chicken butt. This is the green beans still cooking. They're almost done. Okay, just leave it right there. And then mm -hmm. this is all the salmon. What? That's the teriyaki for the chicken. This is the salmon. The sauce over there. And, um,. There's salad somewhere. The corn, the grill, that's done. So yeah, we will probably do it before, like, probably one more hour. Yeah. I think Tia's in the pool with Duke. And you can see back there is here. Tia. So I'll come back and give you guys an update a little bit. So we decided to make some seafood skewers with the some of the scallops and some of the shrimp. We still have two bags of shrimp that we're gonna just steam. And then I guess we will just grill the rest of the scallops that are left over. But I'm about to put them on these sticks right now. So I'll come back and show you guys. Yeah, so these are the uh, skewers. All right guys, so we got the last thing, which is the crab cake. They're baking right now. Everything's right, done. This is the baked beans. Green beans. These are the skewers with the scallops and the shrimp. This is potato salad. This is teriyaki chicken. Barbecue chicken. These are the salmon. This is jerk chicken. Corn. The pork butt this is here. This is steamed shrimp and they're steaming. Mom, somebody has to shred the, the pulled pork. Yeah. And then this is mussels, the burgers, what is this? Yeah. Those hot dogs. Oh, bratwurst and hot dogs. Hello. Hey. And I think this is um, regular salad, right? Yes. Regular salad. Salad. So, everything's almost done. It's great. I have my whole family here. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a second. We're about to eat as soon as the crab cake is done. Hey y'all, it is Monday, May 14th. I am leaving the garage at work. Um, it was a productive day. Well, 
yeah I guess it was a regular day I didn't have any meetings or anything which they try to not give us meetings on Mondays which is good um it did cool down again in the DMV area so that's why I have on a thin sweater and a jacket and it's also cold in my building um but yeah I just did um some work today which was cool um you guys saw in the previous vlog um mother's day was cool had fun um tons of food we had way too much food like way too much food my mom was begging people to take food um but today what time is it it's like almost 5 30 i got in at 8 today and i did my extra hour but anyway um today i am so i was supposed to have a z gallery order delivered today but when i looked at the fedex anybody who's ordered from z gallery their shipping takes an enormous amount of time to come like it's ridiculous how long such a high-end store i don't know if they're i don't know what the issue is but it takes like at least two and a half sometimes three weeks to get your stuff so it takes about a week and a half for them to ship it to well for them to say that it's going to be delivered to you but really what they mean is delivered to your local post office and then from there it needs to be processed through the uh, u.s postal services system and then it can go and be delivered to you so that's what they meant by delivered by today into the end of today today they meant delivered to the post office and i didn't know that until the entry popped up under the status saying it was you know transferred to the post office and i was just like i thought i was getting a package today whatever but then i ordered another order which is supposed to be delivered on friday so i'm thinking that means delivered to the post office and i won't get it until next week um but then my third z gallery order did i just ordered when did i order that i think i ordered it on mother's day yeah i ordered it on sunday morning i think um i did store pickup so i'm gonna head out to the mall this evening to go pick it up i'm gonna go home first because i'm gonna pick up my neighbor my friend um because she loves the gallery too and the cerulean teal color that i'm accenting my bedroom with she uses that color in her living room um on on the main level of her house so yeah and that's the one that's going through a renovation she just sent me a picture the wall is gone now guys so i'm going to try to record some more for you guys so that you can see it but basically if you're new to the channel welcome um i bought a renovated townhouse and she has the same layout and she's going through a renovation now so she's attempting to open up her main level the way that mine is open as well so right now you can my kitchen is very very open you can stand in my kitchen and you know see the dining room see the living room and so the wall that was separating the kitchen from the dining room is the wall that they just had removed so um yeah so i'm excited to see that when i get home but then we're gonna head out to the mall to go to z gallery and i'm gonna i, I brought some um cerulean canisters they went on sale for like 50 percent off i think they were 40 bucks each and i got them for like 21 or 22 dollars um but i want them for my bedroom because they just look amazing and i'm pretty sure i can use them somewhere but anyway um so i'm gonna go pick those up but also my other friend Brittany said that she saw some white a lot of white dresses at this particular mall so i'm gonna try to kill two birds with one stone and pick up my store order from z gallery and also um see if i can't get my hands on a white dress for this um beach party that they're having um when I go to the Dominican Republic in two weeks and I'm really excited about going like I need to get out of here seriously oh my goodness I need to get out of here um I wish the trip was longer but we'll see what the rest of the year has to offer Harp has cheese it crumbs all in my car um so yeah that's where i'm headed i'm going to head home let lady out go to my friend's house to see the progress and then we are going to be headed to the mall to z gallery i don't think i'm going to film in there because i always get nervous in the store so we shall see um I 
don't think there's anything else. I really don't think there's anything else. I was trying to, I mean, you guys came along with me for Mother's Day, so I can't really update you about that because you were already there. Um, I actually did a really good job at vlogging this past weekend because I took you guys, I updated you guys along the way instead of waiting until Monday to update you about the whole weekend, which was probably better. It's a lot of small clips though, but still, I feel like I was taking you guys with me. So, yeah. I got all of my laundry done in case you guys were wondering. I just have to fold the towels and my second load. But the majority of my clothes I hang dry, so I just have to fold like um, stuff that I sleep in sometimes, uh, underclothes, socks, stuff like that. It's not that much at all, like t-shirts and stuff like that. But the majority of the stuff, you know, I hang dry, so all that's already been hung. I really have to get my closet together because I am now using both closets in the guest room since my rack in my closet is not an option right now. So I need to get that together. Um, traffic is probably going to be really thick today. It wasn't that bad this morning, actually. Um, but then again, I still it still took me an hour, but... Um, it, it didn't seem that bad this morning maybe because I was catching up on all my YouTube videos um, but this afternoon seems like it's going to be a little thick for a Monday so yeah um, but what else that is about it my mom enjoyed her mother's day my grandmother my uncle came over and his family also my aunt so my mom's brother and my mom's sister came over um and so that was good and christian was there and then my uncle's kids were there marley was there because my uncle is courtney's dad and, you know courtney i dropped her off at the airport because she was going on a trip so um her dad watched marley so he was there it was good to see him um what else did we I just felt like I was cooking forever like and I know you guys saw in that video like I told you guys I know how to cook I just don't cook ever because I don't enjoy it like just like some people don't decorate and don't they're not into home decor it's not their thing cooking is just not my thing but I know how to do it so I made the green beans I made the baked beans um, I seasoned the barbecue chicken I seasoned the teriyaki chicken and the jerk chicken um, I the burgers were already frozen I made the, the seafood kebabs but they just grilled them so I seasoned those as well um, what else did I do like it was just one thing after the chicken took the longest because literally there were three packs of double like three double packs of chicken so that was a lot of chicken um to wash to clean to season um but it was for the mama so i didn't complain so i did that and then what else took a long time oh making all those kebabs like there was like 40 kebabs you guys saw because that took a long time um and then the green beans came out really good with the smoked meat yes i know how to cook my mother-in-law taught me that trick Tell me how to cook those um and the baked beans came out as good as well um and we had other stuff but those were the main things that i cooked but i swear it felt like i was cooking forever i made the um crab crab cakes too but those were from whole food so we just had to pop them put a little bit of um obey on them and pop them in the oven and they were good i actually haven't tasted one of those because those were the last things to be ready and i was already stuffed by that time but i did take one home so i may eat it for dinner tonight we shall see um and yeah we had cheesecake and chocolate cake for dessert i just had a piece of chocolate cheesecake because it was like an assorted cheesecake so that was good um but for the most part it was just fellowship and talking to my family which was good um yeah that was good i needed that um me a lady and i ended up leaving maybe around 8 30 because i was pulling up in my house at like 9 5 which was good timing because I was able to just, you know, relax and get enough rest because I was tired. Um, but I also rested before I went because I kind of, 
I mean, I did laundry and um, loaded the dishwasher and, and cleaned the kitchen and stuff. And then I sat down um, just to kind of decompress and chill out for a little bit. So I didn't end up getting to my mom's house until about 1.30, which was perfect timing because my brother and Tia had just got there like 10 minutes before me. Um, but they spent the night last night, obviously. But um, yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't like a go 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 all day but that's how my saturday was because i had to prepare for sunday so yeah um but i got it all done um so yeah i found that in order for me in order for me to manage my stress level and manage me not getting overwhelmed like i just have to pace myself and not stress myself out about having so much to do in so little time like they i have to prioritize the most important things and then the other stuff you know, sometimes I'll push it to the next day or I'll push it to the next couple of hours or whatever. And I'm okay with that. I need to be okay with that. So I got everything important done on Saturday that I needed to do. All of my laundry was washed and everything um, between Saturday and Sunday. Um, I just didn't get to fold everything. I, fo I folded the first load. I just have the towels in the second load to, to fold. And they, that will get done, you know, tonight or tomorrow, you know, sometime this week. There's no rush for that. Um, but everything else, you know, got done. I got all the Mother's Day stuff that I needed to get done. We had a great Mother's Day. That's what's important, you know, moving forward. So, yeah, I've been really trying to work on not being overwhelmed. Um, I did take on another um, DIY project, guys, for another party. So, my sister-in-law, her daughter, my niece, um is having a mermaid party in July, right around the time. Her and Harper were born the same week, but she's turning four, I think. Yeah, she's turning four. So she wants to have a mermaid themed pool party. And her mom found this backdrop that she really likes and she wants me to try to recreate it. And at first I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it because you know, Harp's birthday, I figured it was gonna be on the same day and I know Stacy's gonna need help with like, design decor all that stuff and that's my thing so obviously i'm going to help her with it um but it seems as though they're going to sh they're having the parties on two different days so if that's the case i can do the the uh, mermaid theme backdrop um because it's going to be the week after harper's party but i can get started on it now because stacy is still trying to decide what she wants to do for harper's birthday and everything so I think I came up with a plan based on what she showed me and I sourced all of the materials or the majority of the materials that she would need or that I would need to make it. So she's supposed to be, you know, buying the stuff and placing the orders and everything. So if that actually comes to fruition, of course, I'm going to bring you a DIY video on it and I'll sh start with the, the picture of it so that you can see where the inspiration came from. But, um speaking of being overwhelmed i would have been overwhelmed if i had both parties on the same day because my deadline for all of the pro the craft projects would have been the same day but now they're going to be a week apart so that's not bad um but i do love a challenge i like looking at things that are really nice and cost money a, you know a pretty penny and i like to recreate it for much less um, and because I'm crafty and I enjoy that and that's kind of a hobby of mine and it calms me down and soothes me I like to you know take on as many challenges as I can um, so that is another reason why I'm challenging myself to try to make this because I think it's cool to be able to save money and recreate it and you know help someone and that you know that is my niece still so um, I do not mind you know helping out with that at all and it'll probably probably be a lot of fun to try to recreate it um, and source you know just based off of the things that I've sourced because obviously I'm not using the same exact things that were in the picture but I can definitely I, I'm confident now that I can recreate it so um, if that comes to fruition I will be sharing that with you guys um, the plan is to get it done early as early as possible so that it's not the end of July and I'm rushing the night before because with the backdrop for my brother's shower I wasn't rushing and I paced myself but I didn't finish until like the week of the shower because I had to order more boxwood greenery panels this time I would like it to be done 
you know, a few weeks before the party, you know, so that then I, then I can get back and focus back on um, whatever needs to be done for Harper's party and stuff like that. Because, yeah. So, like I said, I'll bring that to you guys if that happens. Um, I think that's it. So I will come back in and show you guys the progress of my friend Kiara's house. And then from there, I think we're going to head to the mall to pick up my Z Gallery order and see if I can't find something to wear to this all-white beach party for vacation. So I'll see you later. Bye.